You say you want to know about your dad and how he was before you was born? Ugh, I don't know if I should tell you all that. Well, I'm going to start off by being 100% honest with you. Your, your father was a fucking criminal. Oh, no. No, not like he, he stole a little few. No, he was an international criminal. He was in the bingo book. I still don't know why we letting him walk free right now. No, no, I need you to understand for, for his teenage years, your dad was not a good person at all. The man was a threat to all five nations. Okay, like this is not no petty criminal we talking about. And this all started from his childhood. For the most part of his life, he's always been acting like this emo jerk, but uh, he used to be a happy kid. But you know, when you're forced to watch your parents die 500,000 times, you're gonna act like a jerk. What happened? You don't even know that? Shit. Your uncle killed the whole Uchiha clan. Why you think there's no Uchihas in the village? Yes, bro. The Uchiha was planning a coup, and your uncle Itachi killed the whole clan in one night and then forced Sasuke to watch his parents die over 500,000 times. Shit, I could tell you about your uncle too for real, but that's for a whole nother video. Just know that fuck Sasuke up. Yeah, uh, that turned your father into a sleeper crash out. Like he ain't crash out instantly, but he always had the crash out in him. He dedicated most of his Genin life to training to kill your uncle. What else happened to your dad? Oh, oh, you know Mitsuki's dad, Orochimaru? Yeah, he groomed Sasuke. I don't really know the details. All I know is he did some weird shit to him during the tuning exams. Something with his neck. I don't really know too much. That's not my cup of tea. He tried to kill Naruto on multiple occasions. I don't know. On Naruto's end, their relationship was always like a rivalry and like a brotherly bond and shit. But I guess to Sasuke, it turned into a beef at some point. I don't know. He noticed Naruto was getting a little too strong and he abandoned the village. Oh, oh for sure. Sasuke was a rogue ninja for mad long. Why did he abandon the village? I told you, Mitsuki's dad. He went to go get power from him. Yeah, in that three years that he was with Orochimaru, the crash out in him was brewing. Cause the, like literally the first episode he showed up in Shippuden, he tried to end the show. No, 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 seriously, he tried to end the show. There was a Kirin in the sky waiting to clap Naruto. Only plot saved his ass. I feel obligated to remind you, he's doing all this to get strong enough to kill your uncle, his big brother. Like he fighting Akatsuki members, and then he tried to kill Orochimaru, and then he ran up on your uncle. Yeah, Sasuke and Itachi threw hands. But you know, Itachi was sick. He had like ninja cancer, so he basically died from that. But in Sasuke's head, that was a dub. And then your father learned the truth, and the crash out was unleashed. Now see, the thing about your daddy is, in his early teenage years, his whole life mission was to get strong enough to kill your uncle, his big brother Itachi for killing your whole clan. But see, he learned that he was mistaken after Itachi died. He found out that Itachi's mission to kill the whole clan was given to him by the Leaf Village. So he said, fuck the village. He learned that Itachi was essentially a pawn and a double agent and the village fucked him over type shit. So he, he wanted to smoke with the whole village. Wait, you got your Mangekyo Sharingan from feelings of love, right? Yeah, see, that's not how that usually was supposed to work. Back in our day, somebody was supposed to die essentially for you to get your mangekyo i don't know if you caught an update but yeah yeah when he learned that itachi actually loved the village and wanted to protect it his solution was to join the terrorist organization that itachi infiltrated and go fight killer b yeah, and since the killer b was the raikage's little brother um that's when he became a full-blown international criminal for real like they put a bounty on him put him in a bingo book and all that did i forget to tell you that he ran up on the five kage during their summit yeah, he, he wanted to smoke with everybody. Yeah, that was after the pain invasion. Tsunade was out of commission and Donzo had to be Hokage for a little bit. That's who Sasuke came to kill. He ran up on Donzo at the Five Kage Summit. He had a grand entrance and all that. I ain't gonna lie, he ended up on the ceiling. It was fire. He, he cut all their flags and all that. It, it was a cool entrance. But he ended up having to fight some Kage. No normal civilian sees all five Kage in a room and says, I want to smoke. Your father was crazy. He ain't give a fuck about nothing but the get back. He saw Donzo. And he wanted to smoke. But first he had to fight Gaara. And, and then and Raikage got up with him. Because, you know, he fought his little brother type shit. And then he got to fight Donzo. When I say he walked Donzo down, he walked him down. The look at his face when he walked him down should let you know he's not a normal man. What did he do after he killed Donzo, though? Oh, yeah, he tried to kill your moms. 
And I'm not going to lie, between me and you, between Kari and Sakura, I don't even know which one really your mom's. Just know he tried to kill both of them. Yeah, I don't understand what the fuck your mom seen in him after that. All I know is me personally, if somebody tried to kill me, I'm not marrying them. But if they didn't do that, you wouldn't be here. So count your lucky stars. He also tried to kill Kakashi Sensei and he tried to kill Naruto. He actually tried to kill Naruto a bunch of times. Yeah, after that Danzo fight, his eyes was fucked. He overused his Mangekyo Sharingan. And then he had to put your Uncle Itachi eyes in his face. Yes, bro. He took his brother's eyes and put them in his face. The eyes you've been looking at whenever you talk to him do not belong to him. Those are your uncles. Trust me. His eyes were never that kind before. They were cold. Itachi's is a little bit more kinder. You should be thanking him for that. I mean... He wasn't all bad because during the war, he did help stop the reanimation jutsu and potentially saved a bunch of shinobi lives. Him and Orochimaru did reanimate the first, second, third, and fourth Okage. And he literally threatened the village in front of the second Okage, which was a dumb move. He pulls up with the four Kage during the final fight of the war and then proclaims that he was going to be Hokage. It was a weird time. Like His definition of Hokage was after he destroyed the village. He still wanted smoke with the whole village. Then he died. Yeah, Madara killed him. And then we found out he was a fucking chosen one, essentially. Like, the show had two main characters. His name just wasn't a title. Him and Naruto got a godly power boost. And he got to run his fade back with Madara for a little bit before he turned into Kaguya. At this point, the whole ninja world is at stake because the infinite Tsukuyomi's been activated and there's only Team 7 fighting him. And him and Naruto are the only ones who can really do anything to her. They found a way to beat her using the power of friendship. And... The war's over. You think all the fighting will be done. You think everybody's concluded, right? You're wrong. Your psychotic father stands there, lurking in a cut, watching Naruto as he says goodbye to his reanimated father, who he's having a heartfelt moment with on his birthday, waits for all that to finish, and then tells Naruto he want to run his fade. What type of person does that? <laughs> the man said goodbye to his father for the last time ever. He's, he's in tears. And he talking about, I'm not going to let everybody out of this jutsu until you run my fade. Legit telling Naruto, we going to fight. And if I win, I'm destroying the village, killing all five Kage and destroying all the tail beasts. And at this point, Naruto fuck with the tail beasts. So yeah, Naruto and Sasuke end up having um one of the most epic fights ever. Like, it was amazing. But you know, your father the whole time is trying to, is, is dead ass trying to kill Naruto. Like, and Naruto just really just fucking him up. Naruto not trying to kill him. But your dad dead ass trying to kill Naruto. And then Naruto hits your dad with a mean uppercut. Factory resets him. And now we have the Sasuke we know today. 